And good morning to all of you. My name is Max Tarleton. Thank you for waking up with us this morning. The roads are not looking too good out there. That's why you're seeing me first this morning. Take a look at this shot on I 80 at 42nd Street. It looks like people are fleeing the apocalypse. That's how slow things are going on that stretch. It is no joke. Uh, both directions, both east and westbound. If you're taking that, we do have an accident reported that is causing all of this around 72nd Street. So just be mindful of that if you are headed out this morning. Besides that, the roads aren't looking uh, too bad. We are seeing some pretty de de delays pretty much across the board on our main thoroughfares. Like I mentioned, the 72nd Street accident there is creating quite the delays on I 80. It's backing up to 680 all the way to Dodge Street, even past that a little north. You can see uh, besides that, we do have an accident on 370 eastbound just after 114th Street. You can see the pressure building on 370. Also, an accident reported in Council Bluffs on 24th Street southbound around 23rd Avenue. Not seeing too many delays because of it. Here's a look at Dodge Street looking west at 102nd Street traffic. Not looking too bad in either direction there. Dodge is about 18 minutes though from 180th down to 72nd. You can see the pressure around 72nd and 90th Street. Besides that, the interstate's not looking great at all. 680 to the river is about 17 minutes. 480 to 680 is about 29 minutes and the southbound side of the 680 is slowing down. It's about six minutes right now. That's a check on the traffic. I'm Max Tarleton. We're going to send things out to Shantae, who is monitoring the roadways out there. Hey, Shantae, how are things looking? Hey, Max, good morning to you. Hey, so as you were mentioning earlier, Interstate 80, I mean, the corridor just around town, I wouldn't advise you getting on there. We were actually driving parallel alongside the corridor right there. We are actually on Grover, and I think we're going to jump back on the interstate heading westbound, of course. But you can see, um, we can see rather, that traffic is just crawling due, to, I think, to that crash that you were mentioning earlier um, from your maps. Uh, really, that's kind of been the story all morning long with the light precip and with the temperatures being what they are right now. Icy conditions are seen throughout the metro, especially along bridges, ramps. I know ILQ exit ramp was a concern there and also the interchange by I-80 and I-680. So just be mindful with that. Definitely want to activate your winter driving skill sets. For now, reporting live, Shantae Passmore, 3 News Now, this morning. All right, Shantae, once again, it's been drizzle and mainly freezing drizzle that's caused all the problems this morning. You can see a lot of that concentrated, say, from Midtown right through South Omaha into Bellevue. And I think we'll continue with the wintry mix. Winter weather advisory for today. Steady temps in the 30s with winds gusting over 40 miles per hour.